Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and overview of the new old Nokia 8110. This is the UK retail version which I got from the O2 for just about 40 quid. Otherwise the full price is 80 quid which is insane because we are talking about a dumb phone. You make phone calls and that's it. Now there's a hint over here that you can go on YouTube. You can go on Facebook as well and over here you can go on Twitter and Google Maps. I'm about to test this one out. Of course, if it turns out that the phone is unlocked, otherwise I'm stuffed. Now, in case you miss my full Nokia 3310 coverage, please do check it on my channel. Last year I made a quite a controversial virus about this phone, guys, and it actually still works after I drowned it. Um, but I've dried it out after that and it came back to life. But anyway, now this phone, the Nokia 8110, is made for the hardcore Nokia fans and it's gonna milk them quite a lot. Because if you haven't been dumb enough to get the Nokia 3310, now you should definitely get the 8110. And especially if you're a Matrix fan and you saw the movie back in 1999 when this phone was actually three years old, guys. Can you imagine the original Nokia 8110 was made in 1996? Can you imagine? And it's still in decent condition. Now in the movie you press a button and you kind of open up the keyboard automatically. That's not the case for this particular model. They've introduced the automatic spring loaded mechanism in the Nokia 7110, which is well, which was a completely different phone released years ago. But anyway, the original one, you've got just two steps of opening up the mechanism manually as you can see over here this phone is of course dead because the battery is dead otherwise the phone itself is working fine but that is to be expected from a 20 how many 22 year old phone guys so let's waste no more time and see what we have in the box over here now i'm gonna take my little unboxing knife because i've lost somewhere my professional knife um but yeah, I'm gonna try to find it for my disassembly and band test videos because yeah, I'm gonna do a band test video, guys. You don't need to watch Jerry anymore. Plus, he still hasn't got this phone, so you've got no other option than to watch my channel uh, of the unboxing and review and band test and everything considered uh, and connected to the Nokia 810. Now, why I can't take this one off? Let's see what we have in the box, guys. Bloody hell. Actually, I don't need that. Right. So, we've got some earphones. Cheap and nasty ones. But anyway, the phone has a radio. Now, this is the quick guide, which I'm going to skip. And you've got a charger. Micro USB charger. That's a little bit retro. But don't forget, the phone has some retro vibes. So, basically, pretty much that's it, guys. Now, let's take this baby out of the sleeve over here. Unfortunately, I ran out of bananas. I was about to compare it to the fruit. But anyway, so let's check this out, guys. Oh my goodness. Um, that feels nasty. Let me tell you that. That opening up feels kind of... Check this out. Feels a little bit jerky and nasty. But anyway, let's take this one off. All right. So what do we have? Man, I mean, that's, that's some cheap plastic over here, guys. That's some cheap plastic. I suppose it's made of the same material. Let me take the Nokia 3310 back. I mean, check this out. It's very similar, a little bit more hollow. So expect some scratches on this one. I'm just gonna leave this one over here. Now, let's see what we have, guys. Right, we've got a pot over here. That is a retro as well. And we've got our SIM tray. Now, I'm gonna take my small bag of SIM cards. And I'm going to put which one? Let's say the Vodafone one. Okay, I'm going to take it out from here. And we're going to insert this SIM card over here just to see if the phone is unlocked. Which is supposed to help you out, guys. If you want to save a little bit of money, you shouldn't worry about unlocking. Now, the battery is not bent, as you can see. The battery is just a normal battery. The phone is bent. But um, we're going to see what's inside this phone in my next video, which I'm going to do a full disassembly of this phone, guys. And let's power this baby up. Now, I'm not sure which button is powering it up. Let's see. Could be from the bottom. No. Could be this one over here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Kai OS. All right. Okay. Now, compared to the original phone, it's more or less the same size, guys. 
let's see is it a little bit more curved or is less curved let's see if it's less curved hmm the curve is pretty much the same actually man it feels it feels it feels similar let me tell you that this one is way thicker to be honest with you but this one okay we can just do that let's see which one spins better okay they both spin well which is good now <laughs> Of course, on this Nokia you've got the old style antenna, which might be very useful at times. Oh, ooh, yeah, ooh. But yeah, if you don't like the antenna, you can just unscrew this antenna like that, guys. And uh, yeah, the phone becomes pretty similar. You might not have a very good reception. But anyway, let me check this out. This one is very thick. I mean, for the today's standards, it's very thick. And this one is a little bit better. It's, it's on the heavy side, which, which is very interesting, by the way. Now, can you see the light blade? That's the first thing you see. There's a light blade over here. There's a light blade over here. And I haven't really even started using this phone guys okay so gb setup wizard now the first thing you can see that the resolution of the screen is absolutely atrocious no available networks um okay all right riskan let's see okay that's the wi-fi that's the wi-fi oh man of course i'm gonna connect the wi-fi and the first thing i can see is no 5 gigahertz connection only 2.4 but anyway let's keep this step over here okay whatever accept postpay or prepay um this is let me see prepay yeah that's prepay and vorphone uk so good news the phone is actually unlocked so go ahead and buy it from the o2 guys and now Let's see, we've got a speaker over here, a tiny camera, a flash, the flashing Nokia logo, 3.5mm jack, USB port over here, and pretty much that's it. Now, when you lock it like that, when you slide the uh, cover, it actually uh, lights up the screen. When you close it like that, it locks the screen, which is fine, which means there is something going on over here, guys. Um, but yeah, let's see what do we have. Ooh, that's the same menu as the Nokia 3310 over there, white icons, I'm really not a fan of that, Google Maps, okay, you've got Google Maps, you've got some games as well, but I'm gonna leave that for the full review of the phone, so far, I was actually kind of surprised to be honest with you, because I expected to really hate this phone, but it's kind of nice, honestly, it's kind of nice in the hand, guys. Which doesn't mean I'm not gonna do a band test and scratch test which is gonna come in the next video as well as full disassembly and full review I might do a drop test as well so let me know in the comments down below which video would you like me to do first guys and in the meantime let's just pin them like that can I spin this one as well okay so these two are here nah this one doesn't want to spin oh okay yeah anyway see you in the next video guys